Last year, the Berger Commission was given the job of reviewing and strengthening New York's healthcare system. Instead, they came up with a misguided plan to take upstate New York's only public university hospital, SUNY Upstate Medical University's hospital in Syracuse, out of the SUNY system. If you're in a trauma, a trauma situation in a motor vehicle crash, you can come here and know that you're going to be walking out of here. And that can be loss. Private means profit. And so many of the parts of this facility are going to not exist any longer because they don't turn a profit. SUNY Upstate's Level 1 Trauma Center serves 14 counties in central New York. Experts agree that emergency care infrastructure is an indispensable part of being prepared for terrorism, accidents, and natural disasters. And upstate New York is at risk. On March 12th, a train carrying propane derailed and exploded, forcing the evacuation of a third of downtown Oneida. As I was en route, before I even arrived at the incident, I had gotten a call from someone in the Homeland Security Office in Washington saying that they had picked it up on their seismographs and wondered what the hell had blown up in Madison County. As a society, the trick to dealing with catastrophic incidences, pandemic flu, or we're talking about a Katrina-like incident, or you're talking about the, the end of the world train derailment, is having enough surge capacity. The burn unit, the trauma center, the hyperbaric chamber, all elements of the current SUNY Upstate Medical University program are things that not only firefighters, but some of the victims that we pull out of burning buildings utilize to enhance their chances for survival. Central New York needs the care that only SUNY Upstate can deliver. It's easily accessible, we deny nobody. All patients can come here at any time of day and night and be treated. There's what's called the golden hour. That's a critical hour of the patient's time. If they're not seen in a level one trauma center or a burn center within that hour, they have a 60% chance to die. Our burn unit covers a 27 county area in central New York, stretching from Pennsylvania up into Canada. If the burn center and the trauma center were to go away, the next two closest trauma centers are in Albany and in Rochester. Losing a child, losing a wife, losing a loved one is not something any of us in this community want to go through. This place, this trauma room, saved my life. Coming down the steepest hill in Syracuse at about 40 miles an hour, broke the sternum in two places, fractured five ribs, punctured a lung, and then when the ambulance came, the next trip was to Upstate Medical Center. A year ago, I found out that I had a 95% blockage in my main descending aorta. I ended up drawing a surgeon, some young kid that, that had just gotten his PhD, he's a doctor doctor, had studied the new beating heart procedure, had brought that to Upstate. So I had a revascularization. Within five days, I was back on a treadmill, and I was back to work with a clean bill of health within three months. Now. To my mind, that's, that's one of the advantages of being going to a teaching hospital. Unless the governor or legislature act to keep the university's hospital part of the SUNY system, upstate New Yorkers could lose the vital services provided by their only public university medical center. It's time for us to stand up and save SUNY Upstate. Keep it part of the SUNY system. Keep it a public institution. Healthcare should not be about dollars. Healthcare should be about the best possible care to provide the quickest solution to healing, and I don't see a privatized hospital doing that. We work to function for the safety and the best interest of the whole community. If I could sit down and talk to the governor, the first question would be, why? I cannot see any logical reason, any reason that makes sense to take from this community one of its most valuable assets. Upstate New York needs the governor's help. Please email him today. We can't afford to lose SUNY Upstate Medical University's hospital.